what is poppin' people, my name is Out of Order, welcome back to a brand new video, and in this video guys, I'm gonna be comparing all the different types of glows in After Effects and see which one works best. In my last video, I compared different types of lens blurs, and I figured why not do the same thing but with glows. If you're new to the channel, welcome, this is the series where I teach you guys everything you need to know about After Effects, but without wasting any more time, let's get right on into the video. So first things first guys, I got a few clips imported here in After Effects, I made a quick little edit in an hour, which is this one right here, it's pretty terrible, honestly all I did was add velocity and like slap some uh, depth blurs and some other depth fog and motion track some trap code particular. There's not even shakes or anything cool like that. And then over here we got a better example. This is something I made about two years ago where I just spammed a bunch of overlays and spammed a bunch of particular. Also I apologize if my camera quality is pretty bad compared to what you guys are normally used to. I had my camera gear stolen so I have no choice but to use my webcam. So I already have all the glows rendered out already and these are the glows we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing the default after after Effects Glow, the BCC Fast Glow, we have a CC only version, so only the color correction, Deep Glow, Optical Glow, Sapphire's Chroma Glow, Sapphire Glow, and of course Uni Glow. Now I didn't do every Sapphire Glow because there's like 20 of them, but nevertheless these ones are pretty important, so I feel like they'll make a good comparison. So these are the two color corrections I've made, there's nothing really too special about them, they're pretty minimal, they don't really shift too many colors and such, but yeah this is what we're going to be working with in our comparison. And now that that's out of the way guys, let's get on to the glow. So here's how it's gonna work. First, we're gonna briefly look at the different types of glows and compare them. Then we're gonna have them all side by side at once to compare them. And then after that, we're gonna look at the render times. Starting things off, guys, we are looking at the default After Effects glow. Now, while comparing all of these glows, I noticed one thing about this glow in particular, which I'll talk about in a minute. But as you can see, I mean, it's all right. I don't think it's the best. And honestly, I think it's one of the worst ones. But let's get into that. So the problem I have with this glow, you'll notice compared to the other glows, like right here it's way too saturated a lot of the other glows are more toned they look more like diffused almost this default after effects one it's way too saturated way too much contrast as you can see in the blues over here like like keep in mind this is a blue tint applied on the particle it just looks way too pink like a lot of this is washed out it's losing a lot of its color depth i don't really recommend this one the daytime one looks kind of fine like as you can see with before without the glow it didn't really look that good but i still feel like it's way too much contrast just like i don't know it's a little too much for me. I wouldn't personally use this one. However, it has a really good render time, which we'll get into later. Next up, we have BCC Fast Glow. Honestly, I've never used this one at all. This one's a little bit better, as you guys can see. It's not as punchy. We don't lose as much color depth. It looks a little desaturated. However, it's not the worst glow out of them all that in terms of saturation. It's pretty solid. It looks a little diffused. Now, keep in mind, I tried to get all of these glows to look as similar as possible because a lot of them have really weird defaults settings i mess with everything to make sure that they all look relatively similar it's pretty rare that i use this one because i don't know but it also has a good render time so there's that to that next up we have deep glow now this is probably honestly the most overrated glow i feel like everybody hypes up deep glow everyone says deep glow is the best pretty much every edit uses it now even not even edits motion graphics use it now there are a few things about deep glow that are really good and there are a few things i don't like so the first thing about deep glow that i noticed right away is it handles its saturation and luminance really really well as you can see it's very saturated it's got a lot of contrast however i don't think it distorts as much as the default after effects is cool i feel like the default one it's just way too strong like as you can see we still have a lot of detail left in the purple it's not all pink like how after effects glow made it so that's one plus side of it this part right here looks pretty good too ignore the bokeh all right i use the depth map and uh depth map had um ambient occlusion on it so that's why like it's all distorted on this guy I mean, these are old clips. These clips are about three years old. Now, I want to look at one thing in particular with Deep Glow, which is this part right here. The glows are very saturated. They're not really washed out, all right? I feel like BCC Fast Glow kind of washed them out. Now, it's not the worst glow to wash them out. One of the next ones is going to be, and I'll talk about that one later. But the one downside is the render time, which I'll talk about later. And that's the only reason I don't use this plugin. That's the one reason. I use a bunch of other glows, never Deep Glow, just because the render time is just absurd. Coming up next guys we have optical glow now this one is part of the red giant vfx suite and honestly i really don't like this glow at all so we don't get much of the contrasty oversaturation. but the thing is the glow is very minimal even when i have like the threshold and highlights like really shifted because like i said i wanted everything to be balanced so as you can see there's glow on the gun but there's not so much glow in the particles even with like threshold softening and some highlight roll off it just doesn't really look that good now the glow here is 
way too strong. So that's another thing I don't like about it too. I feel like it only affects really bright objects. Even if you really soften the threshold, even then, I don't know. There's something about it that just really ruins it for me. And I know what it is. It's the saturation. So as you can see, this sky right here is a blue sky. That does not look blue at all. That looks really washed out, really bland, really just, it almost looks like magic bullet looks as diffused, just cranked up with like a little more saturation. It just doesn't look good at all. Now there is a bonus to it, which is um you can kind of get some volumetrics with it. You can kind of get some rays going like right here. It looked a little better when I was playing in After Effects because I had the threshold and intensity way up, but it was creating some nice volumetrics, which is pretty cool and unusual for a glow. However, as you can see, I just feel like the glows are very desaturated. Now, you can, of course, tint the glows in the settings. However, if you're working with a bunch of colors, that's just not really a good option to do. All right, this is an interesting one. This is a chromatic glow, so there's going to be some more color shifting. And uh, if you've ever used a sapphire effect, you'll know the chromatic glows are pretty strong. But um, I figured I'd add it to the list because, like I said, I don't want to add 20 other sapphire effects. But I feel like at the same time, you need a specific use for it. This isn't a glow you can just slap on any effect or slap on any video or project you're working on. However, I've seen it executed well. I wouldn't use it on this edit. Maybe for like one cinematic, but I wouldn't have the entire edit with this effect. Never at all. I mean, I'll rate all the effects at the end of the video, but this one's all right, all right? It's not the worst, but it's not that good. All right, next up on this list is S Glow, probably the most popular glow out of everything on this video. The only problem I have with this glow is how easy it is to distinguish compared to other glows. There's a very distinct look to it, all right? Deep Glow is pretty distinct. Too. However, you can use other glows to make a deep glow look. However, S glow, if someone uses S glow, you can immediately tell, oh, that's S glow. Like here, for example, notice the whites are shifting a little bit more bluish. And it's not very purple or pinkish like how I had um, on the gun. There was a tint effect where it was like sort of pink purplish. It's not doing that. It's not making a pink glow. It's making a blue glow. Now, if you've ever slapped sapphire glow on a, a text effect or on any solid that's white, it shifts blue on the end which is kind of cool and you can of course change that too however most people i feel like every time i see it, it's like right away like come on dude it's it's just the default sapphire glow with like maybe some intensity maybe some size and maybe some threshold changing but as you can see right here we do get that sort of blue shift on the edge which me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of. I wouldn't use this glow just because of that blue shift on the whites. You can change it, of course. However, that's just more work when you could just use an entirely different glow. And coming in at our last glow is Universe Glow. Now, this is the glow I always use. This is the glow I use nine times out of 10. Now, after making this video, I might start using some other glows. But the thing with Universe Glow is it combines everything I like about all the other glows. It has the saturation of deep glow. It doesn't have that over contrast like the deep default glow and i just feel like out of every glow it runs amazing but like i said we'll get to the render time in a bit so as you can see we got some nice colorized glow it's not just a white solid it might look a little desaturated compared to other glows not having that punchy feel like deep glow for example is really saturated and which is cool for some edits but most edits i don't want it to look i don't want it to look like an unreal engine edit you know i don't want it to look like fortnite i don't want that over saturation so that's why i use uni glow because it's just a perfect balance of it and and like I said, it runs the best. All right, so now let's showcase every single glow so far. So as you guys can see, every single glow is on screen right now. Now, there are a few glows that are pretty obviously different. And honestly, you can probably tell which one is which. I'll showcase which one is which right now. So as you guys can see, there's the names of the glows on screen. Now, I'm going to be honest. After making this video, my opinion hasn't really changed on them much. I still think Universe Glow is definitely the best. I'm still going to use that number one. Maybe second option, I guess first place for me is universe glow second place for me would be deep glow third place for me mm, it's a little tough one i'd say bcc fast glow fourth place for me we'll do s glow all right fifth place for me optical glow and sixth place for me will be s chromatic glow and last place actually no last place is going to be s chromatic glow and uh in sixth place we're going to have the default after effects glow so those are my rankings for the glows of my personal favorite from favorite to least favorite and yeah so now here's the part that's going to make the big 
biggest difference on whether or not you'll use it let's talk about render time so in terms of rendering this whole thing is not going to be 100 accurate because obviously there's so many different variables and factors that go into the render time however i kept the exact same render settings and the exact same clips but nevertheless these are the results for them so in first place for the fastest render time is the default after effects so the two clips that i showcased i already rendered the edits beforehand with rsmb and everything so pretty much the only thing it's rendering is the glow so after effects default rendered in at 54 seconds for those two clips second place and fastest render time was bcc fasco in one minute and one second and then coming in third place just barely behind BCC Fast Glow is Sapphire Glow at 1 minute and 2 seconds. Right after Sapphire Glow, just 3 seconds behind, we have Red Giant Optical Glow at 1 minute and 5 seconds. And then the next spot, we have a tie at 1 minute and 6 seconds to both Universe Glow and Sapphire Chromatic Glow at 1 minute and 6 seconds. And coming in and last place, way behind the other ones, and like I said, this is the reason I never use this effect, is Deep Glow coming in at 1 minute and 43 seconds. Now keep in mind 1 minute and 43 seconds doesn't even sound that long. It sounds relatively fast, but keep in mind that I already rendered the edits beforehand. Most people aren't going to render the edits twice just to add a glow on it. So if you're making an edit and you have a ton of velocity, ton of shakes, effects, all that stuff, slapping deep glow on top of it is just going to add so much more time. And honestly, editing while you have deep glow enabled is just not a fun time. I always just turn off the layer it's on when I'm working with it. So ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it there's my ultimate glow comparison i already did a camera lens blur comparison which i'll link down below in the description if you want to check it out and don't forget to leave a comment of what other effects i should compare with that all out of the way guys thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new guys i make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff my editing pack is in the description down below if you want to buy my presets project files tools and all sorts of other cool stuff as well as my social media links my discord server is also down below if you want to hang out with us and with that all being said guys i'll catch you guys in the next video boys peace out i got brides in the london just to go be in the family credit cards in the scammers hitting the licks in the family legacies family wait and see look like a panda going out like a montana honey killers on the helmets legacies family